Hello everybody, welcome back to more Bloodborne. In this one we're going to be taking on Vicar... I want to say Amelia or Amalia, I can't remember exactly now. But anyway, we are just up from where the Cathedral Ward is. Once you've opened up all of the gates um, in the Cathedral Ward area, you should have uh, this summon sign available. This is Henriette. Now before you summon her, make sure you have cleared the route to the boss. Obviously I did it in the previous episode. Hopefully it is still clear. I have just uh, quit out and reloaded the game. Should be. Um... And then we're going to go ahead and we are basically going to melt the boss. Oh, the giant started there. That's not good. Let's just wait for that to pass. We don't really want the uh, the summon to fight any of the NPCs, so just give me a second. Okay, so uh, we just waited about a minute and the giant should now be down on the left. So we can just pass by it up to the right without losing health from our summon. Um... Obviously, you have these enemies with the with the weird uh, twig things at the front. Just make sure you, you can parry those. So before we go to the boss to fight, then, let me just show what we are going to be using. So we've got Bone Marrow Ash um, equipped as our consumable item. Feel free to bring in some uh, fire paper if you don't already have a fire weapon. And Molotovs if you happen to have them on you. Uh, this is a beast boss, and so therefore is vulnerable to fire and uh, serrated weapons. So because this is an arcane build, um, we have Ludwig's Holy Blade with a Fire Gem in, so it should do pretty well for us. Uh, but we're really probably not going to use that very much, we're going to be using the uh, Flame Sprayer. So, the idea in here is going to be to pop this and then just keep your finger on this while you toaster. Having uh, Henriette here basically just be a distraction for us. Let's make sure that's out. You can actually load this up before we go to the boss fight as well. It'll stay there until we use it, and it'll continue being active until we take our finger off of the uh, the trigger to uh, to do this. We should also probably put some blood bullets in there. So let's go ahead. Let's see Vicar Amelia. Let the fight begin. So start with then, we want, uh, it is Amelia. I don't know why I thought it was Amalia. We want the Vicar here to, uh, to aggro on our friend we brought in with us. So, uh, we're just gonna give her a minute. And then once we can get behind her, let the toasting begin. If you get interrupted or anything like that, uh, if you want to maintain the extra damage, you will need to reload, uh, the Bone Marrow Ash. I don't know what kind of damage the sword even does. Uh, it's okay, I suppose. Problem is, because of half of like the, uh, the flowy stuff around me, you can't really see anything. Oh, because we dashed with uh, taking the bone my rash off. Ouch. So we're almost there. You probably could finish this off with some Molotovs if you wanted. Let's uh, do that, and then that. And then we can... Oh, she got... <laughs> do that again. There we are. I mean, praise, praise Lord, it isn't enough there, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, we got through quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of stuff. Anyway, uh, let me skip through this. Okay, uh, so doing this unlocks uh, a few different things for us. Uh, there's no items in here, but before we go anywhere else, we are going to want to... Uh, and then back to the Hunter's Dream, it'll reset all of our uh, Quicksilver Bullets, allow us to do some leveling up, I'll meet you all there. Cool, so just so everybody can see all of the points that we're spending, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I believe that gives us access to the DLC, which I haven't actually done before, so uh, once I've practiced that, <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure it'll be uh, oodles of fun. Where are you, Dolly? Welcome, what? Very well. them echoes. We get two? Yes. Okay. Uh, one in there, please. And one in there, please. Get that health going up. Um, 
And with that done then, we are going to head to... So there's a couple of things that we really want to take care of. The first thing that we need to do is enter the Forbidden Woods. And we're just going to enter, and then we're going to grab um, an item so that we can unlock a, uh, a soul farming zone. We want to go to... Go to the... To the... Wow, why can't I remember? Cathedral Ward, here we go. Right, to the Cathedral Ward, I will meet you all there. Okay, so... From the initial Cathedral Ward lantern then, um, we are going to head to the archway that we haven't actually been into yet. Guys, why? Why was that guy not behind the carriage? Anyway, uh, we're just going to pass, pass through all of here. I probably should have gone the other way. I think it's a bit easier the other way, but um, no matter. Over to the left. Missed the night. Oh dear, someone's going to moan about that. Oh blood. Hello. What you want? Oh, ah! <laughs> I forgot I had the thing, the, the flamer out, I was trying to parry. I was like, why is that not working? It's not fair. Hey, you mind. I ain't bother really do that, we're going over this way. These guys all kneel down now. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to signify, I guess they're sad. That will still aggro though if you get too close to it. Uh, so let's see if I can just slash you. Whoa, 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 crow thing. No, I don't want to be distracted by you. I want to see if we can slash you. We can. Hey, hey, the fire damage overrides the uh, not so sharp damage. Fin blood zones. It's actually kind of handy because we are in need of a few more to get this, um, this flame watch plus six. It will be nice for those situations where we just want to do some toasting. Um, the biggest problem with the flamer is um, it's really only ever going to work on slower enemies because it doesn't do any stun damage. Antidote. Talk to our dude here. I believe this is Willem, right? Talk to you about the stuff. It's all good. Um, so I feel like if you are following this uh, as part of the walkthrough, if you haven't dealt with um, only all of the NPCs just yet. Now is the time to go and make sure you've done that. So we give the fear the old blood password. Let's us in. This guy's dead. Should give us a man's knowledge. You just roll off here if you want to. It doesn't really make any difference. Save yourself some time. Now we'll, we'll clear the entrance bit right now, but I want to go and unlock soul farm for you guys so that if you are feeling like you want to power up that is going to be a thing you can do this area is quite nasty so that's definitely something that we want to get unlocked technically also what unlocks a later game area as well but we ain't too bothered about that so just stick to this right hand side we'll grab this just don't charge puts me on four i believe i could farm some more up really now if i wanted but I'm okay for now. Come on. That stagger messed up my parry. Ew, sad. Now, he's throwing oil at us. It doesn't do much damage on its own. But if this guy puts his um, torch on us whilst we've been oiled, it's going to really hurt. So just be just be careful of that. Um, we're going to see more of that as well as we move around in a second. But uh, yeah, just, just try to... Try to not have both of those things happen to you. Getting hit by the oil just doesn't bother you, but if once it's happened, just don't get touched by the flames. It's gonna hurt. Hello, you. Just one second. Hopefully, a little bit less distractions now. Manman's knowledge, the bloodstone, gemstone. And then, downeth to the right. To the right. Now, should see lantern now. The stove there. 
So, now that we've entered this area, uh, if we go to any of the Red Lantern NPCs, um, we should get ourselves... I believe it's called a Tonsil Stone, so that's what we're going to go and grab. Uh, I will meet you guys um, at the guy that gives us the Flamer. And he will give it to us. See you guys there in a second. Okay then, so here we are. Um, should just speak to this guy? Tonsil Stone. Here we go. This is Patches, trying to get us trapped. And then, we actually want to go back to um, Amelia's uh, Lantern. So I'll see you guys there. I believe it's called the Grand Cathedral. Okay then, so here we are back in the Grand Cathedral. Kind of where we start the game, the, uh, the episode, I guess. Uh, but we're going to leave this entrance just here. Now that we've got the Tonsil Stone, and we want to head left. Now, um, the most troubling, thing, troubling part around here is the uh, there will be two hunters for us to deal with. Uh, I'm just going to skip past these because... The, uh, the more resources we have for these fights, the better, because they are kind of troubling. Got a bit of an idea that we're going to use. But it's not 100% definitely going to work. <laughs> uh, mainly, it's the second one that's the problem. So, there are two. We want to aggro one before aggro in the other. Let's make sure we've got a pebble in case we need to throw something. I wonder if we can poison them. Let's try some poison. There's always t t attempts to cheese. So, two hunters. There's one right there, look. Uh, we want to try and aggro this one fairly shortly. We'll grab that in a minute. We'll use the, uh, the exit out strategy. We just want to aggro you. You're going to dodge the poison. I don't know if these are susceptible to the poison or not, so it's going to be worth finding out, in my opinion. Just see if we can add some extra pressure to them. Yep, you're poisoned. Kind of loop. Uh, this one's not so bad. Probably a bit of a waste to use the poison on it, but whatever. Ouch. This is good damage. When it's blocking, you can just go through the shield. It's not really an issue. I don't even know if it has fire resistance. So you just don't want to get hit by it really when it does that. But we can just do pokey attacks. Expect to to reach most of the time. Now, if you um, happen to take a lot of damage to this one, uh, feel free to go ahead and reset. Now that we've done that, though, we're going to want to go down this way. We should see the second hunter from here. Where are you? Not really accurate, is it? Where are you? We should just get a drop attack on it. Where is it? There you are. No, I can't get a drop attack on it. Now, if you have um, blue elixir, you could be using that right here uh, to make sure that your footsteps are lighter um, so that we can actually get some stealth in on this. But if we are quiet enough, we should be all good. Get ourselves. attack. Oh, it moved just enough. So this one's really hyper annoying. Um, this is the one that I have the most trouble with. Oh, come on. It really doesn't hurt that much. It's just annoying because it stags you all the time. Why don't you have poison? See if, see if you can be poisoned, but apparently not. I'm really good at dodging that. Okay, so I guess we're in for a fight then. Why did my gun... Oh, it's because I've got the flame run. So I find this one really annoying. It doesn't take any stag almost any stagger from you when you try and shoot it. And it just interrupts everything that you want to do. And if I'm honest, I think it's the unlimited... Uh, the limited shots is the most egregious thing about it. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, if we can get you through the tree, that'd be gorgeous. Oh, disengage, that's not fair. Ouch. Now, all we really need to do is get into a corner and just get a combo off on it. 
just... It can be tricky. But hopefully that helps you clear these guys out. And they don't actually um, respawn. So once that's dealt with, you will be pretty much fine. So next up then, we want to go... Which way do we want to go first? Yeah, we want to get the crystal lizard thing down here. I didn't actually just get the last one either. We'll get this. Thank you. I could quit out and get the other one as well. It's only bloodstone shards though. But instead we'll go this way. This is going to be facing us. I don't think there's any way to trick this, so... Just going to... Gonna do its power up. We're gonna not let it have that. Not really, anyway. Burn bloodstone. How many are we on now? Yeah, we're almost there to get in the uh, the flame sprayer. So if you had carried on down the path where the crystal lizard thing was, it would bring you out down the path on the left. You'll see in a second. But instead, we're gonna go down here, where we'll have some rifle dudes which would want to uh, give you a hard time whilst you're trying to fight these big guys and we ain't about that life. So, let's not have that. Come off there, all right. Extra silver bullets, always welcome. And so it would bring you out... Where is it? It would bring you out... Right here, yeah, here you go. So bring it out right here. So if you follow this up, it'll take you to where the crystal lizard thing was. We'll do with these one at a time. <clears throat> There's two more crystal lizards down at the bottom here, so we'll probably clear those two as well. Quite a lot of great materials, really. Come on now. I'm waiting for you. Nope. There we go. We'll get there eventually. Um, so we're getting to the point now where we'll have a lot of the tools that we'll want, so that's quite good. Again, we're going to bring this over here because there's two crystal lizard things down there, so we don't really want those aggroing. Weirdly enough, they'll actually come towards us. Or at least they did in my stream. Quick! Yes. See? See? Didn't realise they were weak to fire. I guess they class as beasts. Cool. Now we have enough for the flame sprayer. The plush six. That's good. Or maybe even Matantris. Could probably upgrade that a little bit if we wanted. Not in a terrible rush for that. No items in here. Uh, you can't see anything above. I don't know if like having a certain amount of uh, insight will make it so you can see it, but we're just gonna attempt to open this door. And there we are. So, here we are in the lecture building. Um, you're not really trapped here. Definitely not in the same way you would have been in the, the Hypergian Goal. You can get straight out of here whenever you're ready. But, we want to get ourselves a nice little farming spot. So this is the guy that got us trapped. This is Patches. If you've never played a Souls game before, um, if you ever come across a guy named Patches, you will uh, get used to him. <laughs> He's the guy that always tricks you. We'll, we'll see if there will be any Patches in uh, in Elden Ring. That'll be interesting to know. Uh, so there's two rooms here, really, that we kind of want to deal with. There's not really very much uh, to this place right now. Going over that way will unlock us into a uh, another area, but we're not going to bother with that, especially in this episode. Um... Well, we should have some sluggy looking guys. I thought there was one in here, but apparently not. And we get, we'll actually get two patches later on. For now, I'm just going to delete these. So let's consider for a second that uh, I think it's 700 each. I'm going to go over this way next. Just to knock everything. Yeah, item. 
miss any of the goodies. Uh, a bit of trap in this way. I don't know if you can see the trap immediately or not. I think it kind of like just appears. I've always had a dislike for those kind of traps. Oh no, he is actually there. I just can't lock onto it. So, I just want to run past this. In case you didn't guess, these guys don't like fire very much. Fire has always been the overpowered element for uh, from software. <laughs> I'll be interested to see if that's still the case in, in Elden Ring as well. This pyromancy going to be the overpowered way. There's our key, and here we have a lot. And so the advice would be to toast them. Right at the door. Ideally, you don't want to let them get through the door. And there's the bunch up. Wow. Now, I know they may look like there's a rather large cost in silver bullets here. But all those items on the ground are going to be more silver bullets. So especially as an arcane build, we probably profit in bullets. <laughs> you can go that far. I didn't realise you could. Interesting. I didn't realise it had like an actual range attack. And there we have it. Our echo farm. All ready for us. this if you want to. Is there one in here? Don't know. Item. I never remember what the items are. I just remember how to get them. Augur Briatas. Another really good item for us. Probably deserves its own explanation. And then we can leave. Uh, it's up to you if you want to leave through this one. Uh, if you go through the door at the end there'll be another one. Um, but we are going to explain why the Augur Briatas is good momentarily. Okay then, so obviously I'm back in the uh, Hunter's Dream. We you guys didn't need to see anything in the way of... Uh, interesting that damage goes up. Wouldn't have thought it would. That's, uh, that's the Tantras, that's why. 80, 81, 83. Tantras like strength, but we're not, we're not putting anything into this now. Uh, we've got two devils, so I reckon more health. And now, uh, if we get that up to 30, get that up to 20, get that up to 30. That's probably my next targets. Um, in a particular order right now, but uh, it's all good. Uh, so I also want to demonstrate our new little toy, which is the Augur Brutas. So this is a um, called a hunter's tool. Now the key thing about this, in my opinion, is that it allows us to get backstabs way quicker and from range. Uh, so I feel like a good thing to demonstrate this on will be. Oh, bad guys, let's go and let's go here. I'm gonna show you guys. So we're in the uh Hypergian hole, and I'm gonna tell you why show you why this is this is a uh, such a good item. I don't know if we can get you down there. Basically if this hits him from behind, this will cause the backstab animation. So if we just do stuff like this. I mean it'll knock him over from the front, but that's not actually getting it when it does this thing. That's a shame. I mean, it's quite funny how much it's wrecking him. Oh, there we go. We finally got the stagger on it. Uh, so it acts as a parry, uh, but usually from behind, you can also get the uh, get the visceral on it. But it doesn't seem to be giving me on this guy. I really want to try. I want, I want to show it now. There we go. So that is a a visceral. That's us able to get a visceral attack without having to do a charge attack from behind. With the cost of a silver bullet, which is. Pretty good. Plus the da the damage is uh, is fairly magnificent. So we'll be having much fun with that. Uh, so with that being said, uh, we're probably going to be using a lot of bullets going forward. But it's pretty fun. So yes, that is good for us. It's also a new damage type because I think it's arcane damage type. So with that being said, 
Um, you guys can go ahead and level up as much as you want in the, uh, where is it? Must be at the top. Yeah, in the lecture building. Level up as much as you want in there. You'll just have to kind of, um, leave and go back each time that you want to do it. It's not a problem though. They, they, it'll drop like 12 to 13,000 soul uh, echoes each time you do it. So if you guys want to get yourself like five level ups, maybe you can take yourselves to level 60. I wouldn't blame you. Have fun with that. Uh, we will be continuing on in the uh, Bidden Woods in the next episode. Hopefully I'll see you all for that.